From being able to break your bones with its pinchers to possibly being linked to the death of Amelia Earhart, we are counting down 10 chilling facts you never knew about coconut crabs. Number 10. Coconut crabs are the largest land crustaceans in the world. Coconut crabs on average are around 5 pounds, but their weight varies and they are even capable of getting up to 9 pounds. Their leg spans are able to reach an impressive 3 feet as well, with males generally being larger than females. Coconut crabs are found on islands all across the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, with a similar distribution to the coconut palm. These crustaceans are part of the hermit family, spending only a brief time period in water before spending the rest of their life on land. Their lifespans are pretty impressive as well, as coconut crabs live up to 60 years, reaching sexual maturity around 5 years old. After this, they mate between May and September, with female crabs laying eggs in the water. Number 9. As well as being the largest land crustaceans, coconut crabs also have the strongest pinchers of any crustacean. Their claws are strong enough to lift objects as heavy as 61 pounds. And according to PBS, scientists collecting 29 coconut crabs and then having them clamped down on a bite force measuring device. The largest crab in this group only weighed 4.67 pounds and it squeezed with the force of 1,765 newtons. By comparison, a 143 pound human with the proportional strength of this coconut crab could grip with the force of 6 tons. Number 8. It comes as no surprise that coconut crabs do in fact eat coconuts. Coconuts are a large part of the coconut crab diet, but they are also omnivorous as well. The coconut crab's main source of gathering is to use their curved legs to grip palm trees and use their powerful claws to open the coconuts. Coconut crabs also eat other fruit as well, and they will even eat the shells of other coconut crabs, and even the flesh of decaying animals. Remember this for later. Number 7. Coconut crabs have been nicknamed the robber crab. Back in 1906, an English naturalist named Henry N. Ridley wrote about coconut crabs stealing various items from their camp. These included saucepans, bottles, and even a boot from his tent. Experts believe that the reason why these crabs steal very specific items has to do with the coconut crab's acute scent glands, which ties into our next entry. Number 6. Coconut crabs have a very strong sense of smell, which obviously contributes to their distinct foraging patterns, but why is it distinct? This is because coconut crabs do most of their hunting at night. In fact, 40% of a coconut crab's brain is just dedicated to smell, while the visual and sensory skills are similar to other marine crustaceans, even though coconut crabs almost live exclusively on land. Number 5. Coconut crabs hunt almost exclusively at night. During the night, coconut crabs come out and forage in the dark, using their sense of smell to find food and other prey. Coconut crabs will even eat small animals such as rats, and as you can see in this video, one has been even shown killing a bird. It's even possible that their presence on small islands may be affecting the nesting behaviors of the birds, since they can climb up the trees and attack them. It's been noted that islands that have populations of coconut crabs tend to have little to no birds on them. Yeah, coconut crabs will pretty much forage and eat anything, but it doesn't stop there, as they will sometimes even eat their own species. Number 4. Coconut crab shells are red or blue. Scientists aren't sure what influences a coconut crab's color, which ranges from a bright red to turquoise blue. Often the color is just accented on certain parts of the crab's brown body, but some are much more striking than others. Studies have found that the color of coconut crabs aren't related to its sex and it's not size dependent, nor is it associated with pinch force strength. What's more is that the shell color is unlikely to reflect individual behavior, disposition, or environmental factors. While further explanation is needed to better understand this phenomenon, one explanation could point towards a sort of mating or sexual selection, but the true reason for their coloring is still unknown. Number 3. Coconut crabs are edible, but possibly poisonous. Coconut crabs are actually considered a delicacy and regarded as an aphrodisiac on various islands. Some cultures have come to rely on the coconut crabs because they provide a lot of meat, but intensive hunting has threatened the species for survival in certain areas. While coconut crab is not initially poisonous, it may be depending on what it eats. Something that a coconut crab can potentially eat is a sea mango, which if you don't know, it's a coastal tree that grows fruit and seeds that are highly poisonous to humans. Number 2. Coconut crabs are known for being territorial. 
Adult coconut crabs live in crevices or burrows. They aggressively guard their burrows from one another, and they pretty much only ever try to interact with each other when they mate. Number 1. Coconut crabs may be responsible for what happened to the remains of Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. She was a famous, well-known pilot, but along with her many achievements, what would cement her in the history books forever was her mysterious disappearance after her plane crashed in 1937. Amelia Earhart would disappear on July 2nd, 1937 during her attempt to circumnavigate the globe. Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan were flying Lockheed Electra aircraft and were last heard near Hololand Island in the Pacific Ocean. However, despite extensive search efforts, no trace of Earhart, Noonan, or the plane were found. The circumstances surrounding their disappearance remain a mystery, leading to various theories and speculations. The official search was called off on July 19, 1937, and Amelia Earhart was declared legally dead on January 5, 1939. The disappearance of Amelia Earhart fueled ongoing speculation and interest, making it one of the most enduring mysteries in aviation history, but this takes us to a widely believed theory as to what happened to her remains. As we mentioned earlier, coconut crabs are scavengers who will eat the carcasses of dead animals. While a group of scientists tested what coconut crabs would do with the remains of pigs, and they found that coconut crabs would use their claws to rip out pieces of flesh, including the bones, and drag them back to their burrows. While this takes us to the year 1940, as British colonists exploring the Camorra recovered 13 pieces of skeleton that they thought belonged to Amelia Earhart. Originally, the bones were dismissed as researchers thought it was that of a European man. But recently, a computer program for estimating sex, ancestry, and structure from skeletal measurements found that the remains were in fact of a female. It's believed that Amelia Earhart, after crashing, managed to stay on Nikamaru before passing away and the coconut crabs ate her remains. That's why only 13 of her bones were found on the island. But remember, it's still just a theory as we don't have a conclusive answer. Well guys, that does it. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, and if you guys are interested in seeing me do more random fact videos like these. I really want to get experimental going into 2024, and just try to make different videos, because sometimes I feel really burnt out when I make the same type of stuff over and over again. But of course, if you guys like videos like these and want to see more of them, consider giving this video a like and also subscribing so you can keep up to date with my videos as they release. And finally, if you would like to send me video suggestions directly, or hang out with other cool members from our community, consider joining my Discord. A link to it will be in a pinned comment down below. Alrighty, you guys take care, have a good one.